Why, hello there, I'm Maris. This is Game of Quest, and this is Isle of Jura for the Nintendo Switch. We have a console release. So if you remember, we did take a look at this about a year ago on PC. Um, so let's see how it feels on the Switch. I just had to restart a game because there was an update. For some odd reason, my save file wasn't there, but that's fine. We, uh, I already have my fishing rod and everything. Actually, that reminds me. We have to go... I have to find... I think it's around here. We have a, uh, fossil to... Whip. A fossil to hand in. From what I've played of it so far, um, it feels good on the Switch. It's just getting used to the controller controls, because obviously it was keyboard and mouse before, which worked great. So getting used to the, and it also used, uh, I also used a Xbox 360 controller with it, and that felt good too. Um, so obviously the Switch controller is set up a little bit differently. Contr buttons, obviously. Nintendo has them reversed, so there is... I'm still making some screw-ups, but... Um, okay. Alright, that's handed in. Alright, so... So let's, let's try some fishing out. Let's... Let's... I know different shores do different crabs, so let's see what we get here. Let's feel the net. So it's the right right trigger for this, and then if I it, then you have to kind of. And I wish they would state this a little bit better in the explanation, but I found that I do need to hold the R button down in order to catch. If you just click it, it disengages. It's the same with the fishing rod when the plunger goes or the bobbin goes. Um, underwater, you have to, you know, pull it. You have to hold the R key or press it down for a second or two. Ah, hermit crab. Very nice. So that's the other type of crab. So what do we... Let's... I just gotta make sure... We got everything here. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm pretty, uh, pretty up to date on everything. Okay. So let's... Alright. So let's do this. Ready? Oh. Uh. That's not good. That's not going to work out. That was a nice cast, though. Let's go by the... Well, we'll actually, we'll go down here. catch. I would like to try out the magnet um, in this as well, see how, you know, the controls should be fairly the same. Hitting the, hitting the button works the best, just like instead of holding it and going up and down. Sardine, okay. Interesting. Let's maybe come on this side and try something else. Let's stand. Okay. Tell you what, the fish do bite fast in this game.
A cod. Wow, 23 pounds. Okay. Let's see what else we get. There's also, we'll have to go check out the freshwater lake. Um, we'll catch one more here, see how much we have. I know the Magnus is 25, so... So far, the controls feel real good. It's running great. Looks exactly the same. Feels exactly the same so far. Ah, oh, I lost it. All right. Actually, can we go... Can we get to the place over here? I don't know if we can. I know there's a back way to the, the restaurant. Yep, there it is. Perfect. I do wish I could control the camera in this, but that's the same with the PC one. I just feel like the I, I like the camera positioned behind the, the character more. But it's not gonna. It's that's that's a little thing. All right. So how much money we get? We did it. All right, let's go get the magnet. We want to try to get some artifacts for the museum. fishing rod. Okay. I don't want to cast it obviously too far here, so let's see what we got. Fish definitely not biting as fast in the, in uh, this little lake here. Although catching stuff with the net sometimes it does take a, a few seconds. Oh, well, would you look at that? We got an artifact right off the bat. I bothered coming and talking to this dude since I restarted. <laughs> Behind the waterfall. Fly fishing rod. Right, I think that's the whole island, so good. So everybody's all accounted for and everything like that. So we need to make lots of money. And okay, let's just retalk with this guy real quick. I'm gonna talk with him not too long ago. <laughs> out a little bit for that. Those are a bit of an investment. You know what? Let's see here. So what do we have here? My inventory, our fishing journal. So we are not already 19% done. I, I did catch quite a couple things before. Um, so obviously if, if you're not, if you don't know what the kind of the story reason you are for being here, um, 
you're write up, writing a biology research paper and you're having a block on what to write it on and you know what grandpappy used to come out here or your mom reminds you that grandpappy used to come out here and has friends and loved fishing out here and maybe we should come out here and do some fishing ourselves and we can write our paper about all the lovely fishies that we catch oops and that is what we're going to do grandpappy would be proud of all the fish we're going to catch and they're biting You don't want that staying red too much because your line will snap. What in the heck? An error cod. I do have to say the color and pattern combinations are fun in this game. The regular crabs are downright adorable. But the whole, like, aesthetic is like that low-poly, cutesy, cartoony, like, simplistic. Like, this is perfect title. Younger, younger kid, if they, if they want to get into a fishing game. It's not too crazy. It's not like, you know, like, Way of the Angler or, or Call of the Angler or, or whatever that one is. Like, you know, you can keep it simple. My first fishing game, get them hooked, get them good and hooked. And then it's all downhill from there. Get them hooked, LOL. Hook, line, and sinker. Oh. Another artifact. Now you see that it pulls things up on its own. When it's an artifact, it will uh, pull the item up. Let's try right here. I've never actually, even in the PC version, I've never come over here, uh, over at this particular spot and fished. So I, I'm wondering if maybe because of the fresh water, it's, it'll be brackish. Since we have fresh pouring out into the ocean, I imagine we might be able to get some good fish here. Whoa! Oh, this thing's fighting, man. Oh, look at this one. Oh, a mackerel. Lovely. Let's get it out a little further. Catching some good stuff over here. I have to say, I like that the fact that the music doesn't constantly play, and they have like the nice like ocean sounds and things like that. Like, you don't have to have the music all the time. Some some things, you know, you can get away with just ambience like this ambiance. 
Oh, Aracod or error yeah, Aracod. Seventeen pounds. Here, let's see what we're at money wise. Let's come over here. Oh, we gotta go hand in those items too. Okay. Wow. We need more of those arrow cods. Forty bucks each. Let's get back over here. We'll we'll have our other fishing rod in no time. That's great. And again, this is releasing for all consoles this time around so if you didn't pick it up for pc you can get it on switch xbox and playstation okay it's already bite we already got a bite some hungry fishies. Let's arrow cod. Let's do it. Nice. That's a heavy jellyfish. Eleven pounds. That's that's a that's a really substantial jellyfish. Like really substantial jellyfish. They're not very heavy. Oh. Oh, a whalebone. Lovely. I want to say I I want I I I feel like they almost improved the uh improved the fish catching rate and find in this since it, since the uh, PC version came out. Like, definitely, I feel like we're getting, getting somewhere a lot faster. Which is good. That's a good quality of life, uh, quality of life improvement. Red mullet. All right, let's see where we're at. some stuff in before I head on out we'll get our get our artifacts in I have to say this does play quite nicely just like the PC version again the the controls are a little bit different because of the button placement at least on the switch now on Xbox and PlayStation you're not gonna you're not gonna have that but Nintendo does have reversed, reversed buttons, so. All right, what's the collection? Oh, it gave everything to her, nice. There we go, my lovely collection of garbage that I'm finding in the ocean. Give a hoot, don't pollute, and all that good stuff. I forget that dude's name, that owl. But definitely nice to see this on the consoles. Also available on PC. I mean, fun little fishing game, has a nice little story. You know, very unassuming, simple to pick up. The fishing's fun, so, you know, if you like fishing, or, again, this is one of those games perfect for someone that's slightly younger, 
if they want to get into fishing or you want to introduce like a young kid into a fishing game, this would probably be a really good option given the fact that as far as like equipping your rod and things like that go, it's very straightforward. It's like basic fishing rod, fly fishing rod. Like we're not getting into the type of rod, the type of string, you know, none of that stuff. So quite fun. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, subscribe to the channel. If you'd like to donate, go to gamerquest.tv slash donate, and I will see you on the next video.